Hi. Hello. It's Paul. Tim. Doing a thing. I'm excited to see this. Um. So yeah, they they like they uh, people have been asking to do more of Sim, and we wanted to find something. We didn't want to necessarily go crazy with it just yet and start like going deep into the catalog. But um, this is like one of the most viewed videos on our channel. Yeah. So it's just Can't like deny that. So like, let's watch like a live version of this. I wanted to see what they were like live. Yeah. I was super curious about it. So. Since we have a little bit of a frame of reference with it, yes. why not start here and then we'll expand out. So let us know in the comments where you want us to go from here. Yeah, let and us we'll know. We'll start like, tackling that yeah. you know, relatively soon. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is Sim the Rumbling. This is at the uh, Dead Pop Festival in 2022. Okay. So like, I don't know what to expect because I don't know what their their show is like. I just no. know what this one song is. I just bet it's going to be good. I, yeah. It, it could be chaos. I don't know. It's a lot of moving parts. So we'll see how they do. True. But if they're masters, if they've mastered this craft... They'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Sure. I mean, it's a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I do love we're getting more like techno stuff in metal. I mean, that's what industrial is. Yeah. But industrial's changed over the years. Mm -hmm. For the better, arguably. Yeah, I'd say so. It's a fine line between techno and industrial. Mm hmm. Running, running, running. <laughs> yes. The best drummer officially. <laughs> yeah. So what would you classify this as right now? Um because this feels more like a club show than like a so far. It does. Um I don't know. I want to hear more because, like, I don't know. It's been a while since we've listened to this. Mm -hmm. It's definitely metal. So far, nothing has been super techno or industrial. Mm -hmm. But I know it's going to change. God, I love the sound of this song so much. Yeah. Man. All the cuts are awesome. Mm -hmm. a, li a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but it fits. Yeah. Just say metal. Mm. Well, I was just talking about the beginning. Obviously, this song is metal. Well, yeah, but like, just because you got keyboards doesn't mean you're industrial. True. Necessarily. I think some people get confused with that. But, but they could just go nuts and be full industrial on other tracks. It's like rock elements. Mm. There's some metalcore kind of feel in there as well. The one thing I've always loved about this song is that, like, haunting, um, uh, I think it was violins, right? Violins in the background that just have that, like, a very horror-esque sound. Despite, the despite like, the, the lyrics and him, like, just trying to do his best and trying to do uh, everything and losing it all. And, uh, like, there still feels like a very ominous, like, yeah. like, 
even though he's saying this, it's still going wrong and right. not in the way that he thinks it's going wrong. And if you if you're like in the if you if you know the the series and you and 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 everything that's going along with this theme song, like it actually very much fits how Attack on Titan has been going. Right. Like he is like straight up the villain right now. Mm-hmm. And um I I just love how well this like obviously um if you're writing for an anime, you're going to get it pretty well. Like the the song's going to fit the the, the sound pretty well. But right. like as much anime as I watch, this is one of the best openings that I've seen in a very long time and it fits so extremely well. It's to a cool the, song. To the feel of the song, the feel of the anime and everything. And it's just such a good song. Yeah, I wonder if it's if it was originally violins or if it's just synth or mm-hmm. did they mess with violins once they got them? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they programmed it. There's just so much you can do. The minute there is a keyboard on stage, you can just do so many awesome things. True. And just set certain things off. Being a keyboard player is pretty awesome. In mm-hmm. a band. It can be, yeah. For sure. But right. yeah, it's everything that I've wanted for this song. I love this song. This is so good. And like, they're this really is, great on stage. You know, this it looks is like. good live. I'm very happy with what I'm getting here. Yeah, because like you always worry about that. Like, like some people are bad live. They're just people, not so good. There's some people that we've just recently done that I've watched them live. And I'm like, mm. yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't gel. It doesn't. It's not as great. So, and so like I, I love hearing them, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, this sounds is still good. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's do more. I love that weird ska line that just pops in, just comes in and goes away. So good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get some stomps in there. Surprise, clean vocal. I love his cleans, man. It's such a it, it is such a good song. I really like, guys. Please tell us where we need to go for the for them because like I want to get more of Sim on the channel. Um, because this this song is so good. This song is sweet. It also makes me wonder if they tone down to do this song or up to do this mm. song. What is the actual, what is their normal? Is this yeah. their normal? What a cool festival. Yeah, that was so good. That was so, so good. Um, so, like, comparing it to the original, the original song, because I listen to the original pretty often, that's definitely on a playlist. Mm. Um, it's... It's really good. It's really close. Like they're they're you're not missing anything by listening to a live uh, version of this song, um, as opposed like to the uh, the studio, and it still has that feel. His his delicates when when all of the musicality drops out and it's just him on stage and then it builds back up and in, into that. Mm-hmm. Like it's just such a well done song. Yeah. Um, and they are talented. Yes, I'm very I'm very interested to see. What um, else? We can find from them. I love when 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 a singer can do both the lead, the the, uh, the softs and the uh, the growls, like the, the, the cleans, good, the cleans the good and the cop, harsh. Bad cop. Yeah, yeah. Like when the, when when a singer you can do both of them, like yeah, it's a good that's a good combo. Yeah, man, you can do it all. Yeah, do it all. So uh, yeah, from here, let us know where you want to go. 
Um, also, if there's a really good live performance, that would be cool. Because I've they were like real good live Mm -hmm. so if there's some performance that sticks out in your mind that'd be cool too yes uh but let us know where you want to go with sim um give us some ideas uh if the if this is indicative of what their sound is let us know um where we should go next if it's not and it's just like oh no this is what they really kind of sound like let us know with that and um yeah and we'll make it a point to get back to them very soon. Mm-hmm. Like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Catch him out on Capes and Scales. Catch me out on Campfire Ashes. It's podcasts. We do com- we do podcasts. We love podcasts. Spotify, Amazon, Apple, wherever you find your podcasts. There's so many. Check that there. And then also yeah. on Team Ashton on Twitch. Links to the original video as well as our merch links and our Patreon will be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time.